What's going on guys, your boy Random Guy Kev here with some gameplay from Strike Force Sports New York using a Lancer Tactical Tandem Cross License Cthulhu. This thing has been on the market for a while and it's a great time. People keep asking me, hey, can you tech it? Can you do this? Can you do that? Guys, I am not a tech, but I can point you in some tech's direction. There's JJ Moore from uh, Battalion Airsoft and there's Y Hack C Creations. Check them both out. They taken apart the Cthulhu, they put it back together, they've done different things with upgrades, downgrades, and just making it so much more monsterful out of the box. I mean, already out of the box, it's a great pistol, and I would definitely recommend it, but like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beast already, so like doing all the extra tidbits, that's out of my wheelhouse, but again, go to see JJ Moore and YHack for your tech needs on that. Throughout this video, I'll be just talking about my experience with the gun and how I liked it. For CQB, definitely solid, definitely a solid uh, pistol. I've had trouble with the safety a couple times because my thumb would just move it and my gun would not shoot and it's like, oh, my gun's unsafe. All right, let me put it back. But you just gotta watch those little knobs and stuff like that. But this pistol, I purchased two AAP-01 mags. They fit perfect into it um they're 50 round mag so i mean that's kind of all i needed when picking shots and this did the job it did what it needed to do it does take aap styled uh parts and some glock styled parts depending on which ones um but straight out the box it already does the job <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
some people are just like, hey, why don't you just get an AAP01, boo, it's the same thing. Ah, nah, nah. I mean, straight out of the box, this I've never used an AAP01, but every time I see an AAP01, it's upgraded. It's it's like a TM. Everybody just immediately guts it and just makes it the way they want. With this, you can just use it straight out the box how it is. Um, yes, it is licensed. It's a licensed product, but doesn't mean that it's a shitty product. Um, I'm happy with the QC on it. It's it's, it's minor things that um, like that have been changed from this this V2 from the V1. Like just the Picatinny rail may have been shortened. Um, but that's really about it. I mean, it takes the same AAP01 parts, uh, some Glock style parts, but I mean, why do you need to upgrade it? Uh, unless you're like in a shooting competition, which 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 this is a shooting pistol for those type style competitions. But all in all, I think it's a solid pickup as a secondary. Hey, I just want to use this, have it as a secondary, or you can have it as your main indoor pistol. I've seen a lot of people use um, Glock um, the mag adapters in there and it just works i've never put this in full auto or shot in a full auto you can do that but i mean i don't need it so i mean all in all i think you should hold it in your hand maybe if you have one of your friends that has one shoot it see if you like it or not i think i i i, I wrote i would recommend this i enjoy this a lot Damn it. Good hit. I got him. Sorry.
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not too much to say about the Cthulhu. It's just that it just works as a pistol. It's solid. I, I enjoyed using it. You're going to see some more gameplay from me with it. But hey, all in all, I would recommend picking this up for the price point. It's a good time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.